All right, hello everyone, how are you today? It's K. So this is the 26th of January 2022, and this is on Wednesday. So um, in this video, I would like to share what has happened for the last two weeks uh, because I was under COVID and uh, I had to heal the COVID for the last two weeks. But um, also, I just want to share what I think about uh, on uh, what I do for the last two weeks when I was under COVID. So um, this is a recorded video. It's not live stream, but hopefully you enjoy the talk until the end, because I think this topic is very important as myself, as a trader, and also someone who actually shares the idea and knowledge on YouTube about Ichimoku and also someone who does the community and also the GTS membership. So um, let me first talk about what has happened for the last two weeks under COVID, when I was under COVID. So first, um, let me look back a history of my symptom. So um, it was actually on the 10th of January. It was on Monday, the 10th of January. I had some throat ache and fever and some headaches. And at that time, I thought it's a regular flu. So um, I just took some medicine, this some regular medicine, and I thought it will be gone uh, anytime soon. Because, you know, sometimes I have this fever and some uh, regular cold. Uh, even when I was in Japan also, I used to have this. Uh, so uh, I thought it's a regular flu. And uh, actually, uh, my wife uh, first got the COVID and uh, she, she, her symptom was not really good, actually. She, her, her symptom was worse, much, much worse than myself. So I was basically uh, taking care of her and then I got the, the COVID also. But on the 10th of January, when I first got that, I thought it's a flu, regular flu. And on the, uh, the 12th of January, two days after that, it was my birthday on Wednesday. So, um, and my symptom got worse, actually. Um, and that's when I posted that I cannot do live video on YouTube. Um, let me turn the website, my, my YouTube page. So here is my YouTube website and under community, I posted here this one. This post was actually exactly when I uh, was in the birthday. It says, today is my birthday. Thank you for all who sent me happy birthday messages because I got many, many messages. So I was very happy to receive these messages. Hold on, let me adjust my frame. Yeah, so, uh, but unfortunately, I had been suffering from flu for a few days, so I will take a good rest today and postpone my celebration to sometime after recovery. So, at this stage still, I thought it's a regular flu. It was not really bad, actually. So, um, I was basically uh, taking some uh, vitamins and some uh, zinc and some uh, medicine, regular medicine to cure the flu, I thought. And in terms of the test, COVID test, I wasn't able to do because, um, you know, I couldn't really go to the testing center because my, my wife's symptom was really worse. Uh, she wasn't able to eat and uh, she was suffering. Uh, she wasn't even able to get up from the bed. So basically I was taking care of her and uh, I wasn't able to go to a testing center uh, with her. So, uh, but instead, I was ordering the home kit, home testing kit for COVID. And, but uh, the home testing kit was actually running out. And um, I was finally able to get that on the 15th of January on Saturday. But uh, when I posted this uh, post on my birthday on the 12th of January, um, actually, I stopped looking at the charts because um, my symptom was a bit worse, getting worse. And I had to cancel all the, all the appointments uh, from, this, um, from my birthday. So uh, it was what happened 
on this date. But uh, and uh, I would say three days later on the 15th of January on Saturday, um, I got the testing kit, home kit, and me and my wife both tested positive. Um, so that's when I announced that I got COVID positive on the next post here. So uh, it says, I'm sorry I haven't been able to show up recently because I got COVID positive and having fever, sore throat, and dizzy, and cough, etc. So um, um, my symptom got much, much worse than this, actually. Uh, I wasn't able to like uh, mention all the symptoms I had. I just mentioned fever, sore throat, dizzy, and cough, but also I got this uh, kind of shiver feel, and also uh, I got some hives in my body, and uh, I felt very dull at the same time, and that was very, very bad. I was almost like feeling threw up also, uh, like uh, my wife did. So uh, I was literally away from the PC, and I didn't turn PC on from this date, and I didn't see charts. I wasn't able to uh, check charts. So I was laying on the bed all day and taking some medicine, taking some uh, vitamins, and I ordered some food by delivery. And basically me and my wife are both suffering from uh, the symptom. And next day, on the 16th of January, on Sunday, my wife, symptom got worse. And uh, she started to uh, vomit, and she wasn't able to take water. Every time when she tries to drink water, uh, she throws up. So she wasn't able to take some any medicines at all. And that's when I got very, very uh, like scared on her symptom. And that's so that that was when I took her to the emergency uh, hospital, and. Um, Officially, me and my wife were tested positive on COVID at the hospital. So, uh, and also what she did was on the emergency, we went to the hospital and she took the IV, uh, the injection uh, into the body and her symptom got much better. But when we visited hospital, uh, our fever was not that much and uh, our oxygen was also the normal level and uh, it was, you know, uh, much better than the previous day. But uh, she took the IV anyways because uh, she was throwing up and she was losing energy, losing, um, you know, the, uh, the vitamins. So uh, she took the IV and my wife recovered afterwards. But uh, this is the date uh, when I got depressed myself, actually. Uh, because um, on the 16th January, when I took her to emergency and came back home, um, you know, by looking back on what I have been doing in terms of this YouTube and also in terms of the training itself, I felt like I want to quit everything. Um, and also uh, at nighttime, when I went to bed, I had some nightmare, I had some bad dreams. Uh, at night time and I wasn't able to sleep well uh, every night so uh, literally I got the depression so and also I lost all the energy of uh, doing something and I also lost appetite so um, on the 16th January was very very tough for myself I felt like I want to quit everything on what I do um, but uh, I got the power from the messages from everyone in the community because if you see here um, on these two posts, on the first one, um, I got 114 comments. Uh, it says uh, to say, you know, uh, please recover quickly and happy birthday uh, messages and uh, stay healthy. Please, uh, you know, uh, be well, be better soon. I got these many, many messages on this uh, post and also on the most recent one, I got 122 comments on YouTube and it says, take care of yourself, uh, please, and uh, we miss you 
Uh, I wish you a speed rec speedy reco recovery. And I got all the other messages like this. And plus, on top of this, I got the personal messages, um, direct message uh, from the GTS members, and also Ichimoku community members, uh, and also emails. I got many, many messages. I got the phone calls also uh, to cheer myself up and to for the fast recovery. And that was very, very big for myself. So I would like to say thank you so much on this video uh, for those who sent me these messages because uh, it actually gave me a lot of power to keep me going for recovery and to show up again on this YouTube and uh, to uh, share something that I do uh, in, um, on the YouTube and also my knowledge about Ichimoku and everything I do. So uh, it was a big moment for myself. I got these messages and that actually uh, took my depression away. It was much, much better than taking medicine to cure depression because I was under depression before when I was, you know, doing full-time work, full-time, uh, you know, trading. Uh, when I was losing for the last two for the last two years, I got depression also. But this time, I never expected that I will get depression from COVID and also my wife's condition, but actually I did. It was on the 16th January on Sunday uh, and uh, on the, the, the following week, on the 18th of January, on Tuesday, um, I got this, uh, my symptom get better and also my wife condition get better also. So uh, that was a big relief that finally my wife can uh, start to drink some water, drink some you know medicine and also uh, uh, she's become much much better. Uh, and also my condition get a little better on the 18th of January and Tuesday. So um, it actually uh, I felt much much better psychologically too. But still I wasn't able to see charts. I wasn't able to. I didn't feel like you know, turning on the PC. So basically, I was communicating by mobile, sending messages, and um, giving uh, the advice from those who get the COVID already, uh, you know, past years. And on the next day, on the 19th January, on Wednesday, my condition got worse, actually. I thought on uh, uh, the, uh, the, the previous day, on the 18th of January, I thought, I will be better but on the 19th on Wednesday my condition got worse and I started to have high fever very very high fever and cough and dizzy and also a little smell and taste problem I, ha I had uh, so I was scared again I thought uh, you know what if this happens for entire my life if I lose smell and taste you know that was a very scary for myself and but still i was under medication i was i took some medicines and also took some vitamin and zinc and magnesium and uh i took uh manuka honey to cure my condition and two days later on the 21st of january which was on friday uh, my condition finally got better and um, i was able to get up and you know uh, eat uh, I, I, uh, my appetite came back and I was, I was able to start to eat and drink uh, some, uh, you know, uh, medicine and also some juice. So, but still, I wasn't able to see charts and I continued to take a good rest. Uh, and on the next day, 22nd of January, on Saturday, uh, my condition got much, much better. And that's when I did the GTS because GTS class start, happened every Saturday, Sunday. So um, on Saturday, on the 22nd of January, I decided to do the GTS. So I was able to, t able to sit down on the PC and talk for one and a half hour, which was, I think, it was a very, uh, you know, a nice recovery for myself. And also I did the Ichimoku live stream on the same day, 22nd of January, on Saturday, and uh, I was still coughing 
and I was still having a little fever, but uh, that's, that was a day when I realized myself that I recovered uh, very well. So after the Ichimoku live stream, I took a good rest. I wasn't able to do a public live stream yet because uh, when I talk for one hour or so, I have a severe cough and I had to rest. And on the next day, 23rd of January, um, my condition was also better. So I was able to do a GTS class and I was talking about one and a half hour again. And that's also when I realized myself that I got much, much better. And, but I wasn't able to do the public live yet after the GTS because I had a cough afterwards. So I decided to take a good rest afterwards. So, uh, and then on Monday, finally, I was able to do live in public. And that's when I realized myself that my condition got much, much better. And on Tuesday, yesterday, um, I was, I did the live stream the first time and also in public. And then afterwards, I did the, um, the Ichimoku Zoom Cafe. I was able to do it for two, uh, two hours. So now I, I fully uh, recovered, I can realize. Um, still, I have cough and I sometimes I have a little fever. I have uh, still hives in the body, but uh, things are getting much, much better for now. So, um, so this, that was a rough sketch of what I experienced for the last two weeks. So it took me two complete weeks to recover. And obviously it wasn't a regular flu. Uh, if it's a regular flu, the symptoms can be, you know, uh, I can recover maybe in a couple of days, but uh, it was first time for me to, to survive for two weeks under the COVID. So uh, I got the depression and also I had to think about many things while I was, you know, under bed, uh, while, I, while I was on the bed. So um, I have been actually thinking about my life plan as well for the last two weeks. So let me, let me briefly share what I have been thinking for the last uh, two weeks. So personally, uh, this year, 2022, is a big year for myself because uh, not only that this is a new year, but also I, turned, I just turned to the 40 years old in, on 12th of January. So um, it's the exact number 40 in my life. So in general, it's big. But personally, I decided to make this year the biggest of my life. Uh, because I realized that uh, I'm not sure how long I can keep on doing what I do right now on YouTube and also trading itself uh, and also other related services in the community like uh, Ichimoku community or GTS. I'm not sure how long I can keep on doing. So, um, you know, life is limited and life is too short to do everything I think I want to do in the life. So uh, it was last year, 2021, before turning 2022, um, I was planning to do some projects within the community, whether um, it's an uh, existing projects or new projects for public or Ichimoku community or a global trading school community. I was thinking to do some new projects and I was thinking about that last year, 2021, December. But one thing I decided after COVID is to make this year special and decided I will take the most effort this year uh, in what I do on YouTube and communities. Because this year, well, um, I was actually thinking to quit YouTube and, uh, about, and also I was thinking to quit Forex trading self also um, by the end of 2022 because I had enough saving already and also what's more, uh, what I want to do is I wanted to travel different countries from next year, 2023. So 
I thought of quitting what I do in YouTube or my services and I, I was thinking to take uh, a couple of uh, years leave and uh, travel different countries. Um, and I thought, um, you know, I really thought that I quit, uh, I will quit what I do when I got depressed on the 16th uh, under COVID. So, um, but in order not to regret on what I do or uh, not to regret when I lose everything, I decided to do my best on what I have been doing for the community so far. So this year, I will make this year special and um, I will keep on doing what I do for the year 2022. And also, I will continue to do this. I decided to continue to do this next year and onwards because that was because, like I mentioned previously, I got these, all these messages uh, from the community members and it was very touching so um you know I, when i read these all these you know messages i thought you know i had i have to do i have to keep on doing what i do and i won't quit this journey so that uh, we can grow together and uh, hopefully we can uh, you know um, live together by the tradings and also by uh what you do and also uh I would, I would uh, try my best to help you to achieve your goal in terms of tradings. So, um, but you know, one of my dream is, dreams is to visit many different countries and I still think I want to do it. But one thing for sure after COVID that I realized is that I won't quit what I do. Um, I might quit forex trading and I might switch to uh, stock trading or index trading or other tradings, but uh, in terms of what I do in YouTube, I won't quit because of these all the messages I get. It was very encouraging and without these messages, I wasn't able to recover fully like this as of now. So in this video, I just wanted to share my gratitude and sincere uh, gratitude for everybody who sent me these messages and who participate in the in in the community, and um, it re it means a lot really for myself. Before I start this YouTube, I never expected that I will be doing this every year. I thought I will be quitting like one year, explain briefly about Ichimoku, and I will you know just uh, away from. The YouTube. I was thinking like that uh, first when I did start to do this YouTube, but uh, because the number of subscribers are getting growing, growing, and also uh, there are more members who support on what I do, I keep on doing and keep on thinking uh, what kind of information to share and what to do in the public and Ichimoku community and GTS community as well so that uh, we can grow together and uh, we can achieve our own goal in, in this life. Uh, because it's possible, it's possible. I have achieved my own goal uh, from relocating from Japan to Dubai and I was able to live in Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world uh, this year. And But, we, but uh, if I don't do Forex tradings, uh, I won't be able to achieve my goal. And I know it's possible because my experience and I would like also to, to feel the same. And also I would like you to achieve the goal that you want to pursue like, just like I did. So myself, my goal for this year is to put my effort fully on what I do. And next year, I want to start travel different countries so that maybe we can meet face to face and have some nice tea or coffee or some nice dinner together uh, and I will keep on sharing my um, you know trading uh, strategies and also psychology and the risk management uh, strategies as well so um, yeah so that's basically what I wanted to share today and what I have felt and experienced 
under COVID for the last two weeks. So uh, these things happen in life and some difficulties happen in life. Uh, of course, we uh, we don't live uh, we don't live stably. Sometimes these things happen, but uh, one thing for sure is that uh, we never lose our faith on what you do. And uh, please don't give up. Never give up because until you will be successful until you success. You you continue to do success successfully. So um, you have to have the will and determination to achieve the goal, and then everything else can be possible. I think this is actually one of uh, the things I believe myself is that anything can be possible in life. Anything can be possible. If you want to achieve something, then that is possible. But there must you have to have two, two uh, conditions. One is you have to have the correct information to do it. And the other thing is you have to take effort. But if, but in other words, if you have the right information and if you have the right will and consistency on what you do, then anything can achievable in life. And that is my motto. So uh, hopefully you can keep learning from uh, my YouTube channel and hopefully I can uh, help you to become a non-losing trader and also, uh, you know, stay gold in life. Finally, I would like to say stay gold because um, this is my mantra, my, my mantra, or uh, my internal like uh, word, stay gold. I, I say it every time by the end of the life because, uh, you know, we have to uh, be staying gold in life. Then that's, that's why we live here. We are not here to be, you know, sad, or to be, you know, um, uh, you know, regret. We are here to be happy, and we are here to achieve what we want to do, what, what we want to achieve, and also we are here to stay gold in life. And that's why I say stay gold, uh, so that uh, it can keep you going uh, towards our goal. So uh, yeah, so that was my message today. Sorry, it was like you know the topics were like here and there. But uh, I hope, um, you know, I will do, do my best uh, in my YouTube channel and what I do. So hopefully you also can take advantage of uh, what I share in the YouTube and also uh, in the communities. And hopefully uh, we grow together and stay gold in life in that way. So yeah, today it wasn't about the analysis. It wasn't about, uh, you know, the training or anything like that, but uh, I just wanted to share my honest experience, opinion about what I happened for the last two weeks and also the messages to everyone who follows on what I do. So I will see you on the next one. And until then, uh, like I mentioned before, please stay healthy, stay safe, and also stay gold. All right. So bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.